Yo, what the hell is a flipping? Me and my girl broke up. She told me she gonna slash my tires. I come out whole tire gun. Ladies, do you want to piss them off even more and make it less obvious that you fucked with their car? <laughs> remove, remove the fuse in their car to their fuel pump. Their car won't start. It's literally, it, it's like a couple dollars to fix, to replace, whatever. It's really not that expensive. However, their car won't start, so they'll have to have it towed somewhere. Um, and, and have it looked at. Because most people are not going to be smart enough to check their fuses. Um, also, if you want to be moderately annoying, pull the valve stem off of their tires, so then their tires won't hold air. So you're not fucking up the tire, and that's like a $10 part to replace. Um, but most people will replace the whole tire because they're stupid and don't think to check that. Welcome back to the channel. You're watching the Flippin' Podcast, and it is me, your host, Flip Ant. <clears throat> Today, Andrew Tate got banned off of, I want to say it was uh, TikTok and no, no, Facebook and Instagram. So wherever he's trying to spread his messages from there. And I'll say this about Andrew Tate. I don't follow Andrew Tate because what he's saying, it doesn't appeal to me. I'm 30. I'm already on my own path. I don't have issues with women. I'm a, I'm a married, I'm a, I'm a strong married black man and, you know, life is looking good for me. Um, would I like the Lamborghinis and have six women in my house or a mansion? Um, I mean, it, it's a pipe dream and I understand at this point that I'm going to get it like I, I'm I might get to that level or I might not the only thing I can do is keep on pushing forward keep on being ambitious and if I do end up uh, living the uh, the the billionaire's lifestyle then so be it but I mean I find other things more important like you know I have a kid now and I want to have grandkids later he does push a message of you know towards women that it was like hey look and it sounds misogynistic, but it's like, hey, look, if you're not this, I don't want you. If you're not down with my lifestyle, I don't want you. And if you look at uh, how women are today, like they're getting more uh, uh, devious, they're getting more bold. And in their message towards young women is like, you should be able to go out and rack up a body count and get that top 10% earner men to take care of you and all the children that you had along the way. If that's not a, uh, a misandrous message, then I don't know what is. See, the thing is, is that both messages aren't really living in reality. In reality, most people are average, all right? Most people are average. If you go inside of a little boy's room and he's got a uh, Lamborghini Diablo poster on the wall, that's his dream car. Yes, but will he ever live to get to that level? Probably not. At Andrew Tate's level, it's the same thing. He even states it in his videos that he's lived an extreme lifestyle and not everybody's going to be able to hack it like everybody who's lived the same lifestyle before where he was you know uh, doing the things he was doing uh, go watch his videos i won't steal his thunder um a lot of those a lot of those people either ended up in jail or dead all right he was just he just so happened to be one of the ones that made it out so i don't think that i don't think that andrew tate's message is misogynist and no matter what is said, I don't think he should be banned from any social outlets. He's going to have followers. That's what's going to happen. It, is everybody absorbing his message as the word of God? No, they're not because obviously men are still wearing hookers, strippers, and whores. Only fans, girls. Fansly. Many vids. There's a lot of girls that are on Reddit that are married. And there's like this uh, little thread called... Um, uh, hot wives or something like that and they're bearing everything so is everybody taking Andrew Tate's word as you know gospel no the man is extremely entertaining now let's get to the video that I played before where you know women can talk about you know damaging a man's car or they can do anything they want to a man and not have fear of repercussions all right I want to let you know that that is not true and that you should attack a woman with the full force of the law whenever things like this happen all right and whenever this stuff starts happening and they start building a record uh, they're gonna get that three strike rule before you know they're on probation because we all know that women don't go to jail all right now like I said, the, the woman who is telling you in that video about how to really mess with a man is, um, 
like she she's married as, as it shows on the uh on our on our wedding finger and like women they they talk all right they talk to each other that is one crazy woman to mess with the man like that because think about it men are stronger than women and i do not i do not condone putting hands on anybody but whenever women start messing with men they play a very dangerous game they do the whole like oh i'm gonna do this i'm bold i'm ballsy and then next you know they get smacked the f up like you know rihanna did and then they're like oh i don't know what could have brought this on like i said i don't condone any of that but sometimes you go, well deserved. You know, it it was well deserved. I mean, the guy's gonna spend some time behind bars, but you know, maybe women might get their stuff together when they realize that, hey, you shouldn't go toe to toe with the man like that. You're different from us. If anything for the on the guy's side is like, you walk away from a woman that does that. If she has the capacity to think like that, um, vindictive and spiteful and, like there, there's no use wasting your talent as a man on a woman like that there isn't there really isn't i don't know if i'm gonna get banned for saying something like that because you know maybe it comes off misogynistic but there's a type of woman that i like and a type of woman that i don't like and the type of women that i don't like are women who plot against me because i did something that they did not like hey look i'll tell anybody this walk away all right walk away that is my time i hope you enjoyed the video Please leave a like, share, subscribe. If you don't have anything for me, I don't have anything for you. I'll see you in the next one.